Boys and girls, how are we all doing? End of the week. So today we have two parts for you. Part A is gonna see us go every two minutes for four sets. You're gonna do eight overhead presses followed by 16 push press. We want you to keep those first eight as strict as possible and then on those 16, we want you to use the legs a little bit to help relieve that upper body stress. Following those four sets, you're gonna rest two minutes before going on to part B. Part B is gonna see you complete five rounds for time. We're gonna get 10 push-ups followed by 14 plank shoulder taps. This is gonna be very heavy on our pressing today, so bear that in mind. Following on from our workout piece, we're gonna get our finisher in. We're gonna get three sets. You're gonna get eight single arm rows, if your loaded implement doesn't lend itself to doing a single arm row, you can get 16 bent over rows. Following that, you're gonna get 20 seconds in a side plank on each side. You can rest as needed between those three sets. So there we have a team, a very heavily upper body focused workout, and then some posterior and core work for our accessories today. Stick along now to follow along with Walt. We hope you enjoy, and we'll see you on Sugar Wad. Team, how are we doing? Happy Friday. We're gonna get straight into our warm up. Today, just a reminder, we've got three sets, 10 shoulder rotations, 20 seconds of our plank transitions. I'll show you what those are when we go through it. Uh, and then five walkouts plus a push up. I'm gonna be using my pipe today. Um, obviously, if you don't have a pipe or a broomstick at home, you can just use our arms for those shoulder rotations. Right, we're gonna be going in 10 seconds. Okay, so we've got three sets of this to get through. Just nice and steady, just sort of easing ourselves in. Getting ourselves warm, ready to go. So yeah, hands nice and wide if you have got your pipe, okay? I'm gonna keep my arms straight the whole time, shrug my shoulders up, and then back and around. That's one. Okay, just nice and steady, just opening up that shoulder. Obviously, if we don't have a pipe or a broomstick, like I said, we can just be using our arms up and around as if we were holding a PVC pipe. Oh. Yeah. Obviously, try and go as close with your hands together as you can whilst keeping them straight. Last one. Into there, lovely. Okay, cool. Next thing then, we've got those plank transitions. So, we've got 20 seconds on these, okay? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on my forearms. And I'm gonna go up to my hands and then back down. Just for 20 seconds. Obviously, if you can minimize how much our hips shift, that's lovely. Cool, 20 seconds, there we are. Okay, last thing then. Five walkouts and a push-up. So, feet just outside shoulders. And you go slightly soft, slightly bent knees. Feel that stretch in the back of my legs as I walk my hands out. Let's go through my push-up. And then back up. If I need to here, obviously, I can go through that push up on my knees. And walk myself back in. Up again. Obviously, today's session is a big upper body session. I think that's five. Pretty sure. Okay, cool. So, I set one done. Going back around then into our second set, back to shoulder rotations again. So I'm standing up, over and back. Again, those arms stay nice and straight. I'm trying as much as possible to keep my ribs down as well. I don't want to be sort of flaring over backwards as I bring my arms up. But yeah, like I was saying, obviously, Warming up those arms. Got a lot of pressing today in today's workout. Just a lot of upper body work in general. So you've got to make sure we're ready for it. Okay, so plank transitions again. 20 seconds. Whoops. We'll keep going. One take.
Maybe that. There we go. Okay, walk outs again. So again, feet just outside shoulder width, slight bend in my knees. Feel that stretch in the back of my legs, I walk out. And we can get those push-ups in. Obviously just remember, on these push-ups I'm looking for a straight line from my head all the way down to my toes throughout. Obviously to do that you've got to squeeze your bum. Squeeze those abs, squeeze our legs nice and straight, as hard as we can, to stop us from sort of snaking up. And last one. Good. Cool, there we go, okay. Last one, I'll try not to trash pace this time. Pipe up again last time. Arms straight again, we're over and back. There we go. So yeah, as our shoulders are getting a little bit looser, we can bring our hands in on the pipe. Just make it a little bit more of a challenging stretch for our last one. There we go. Okay. These transitions again. So again, I'm squeezing my abs as hard as I can, squeezing my bum, trying not to let my hips twist around. I'm going to go 20 seconds. That's 10. And last one. There we go. Whew. Arms are getting warm, that's for sure. Okay, walk outs and I push up for the last time. Off we go, just feeling that stretch again. Pressing up. Okay, just a reminder, obviously squeezing those abs, those bums, those legs, making sure we're pressing off the floor nice and fast. Last one, here we go. And there we have it. Whew. Okay, hopefully then, arms should be a little bit warmer, we're ready to go. Grab a drink if you need, pause the video of course. Uh, and I'll see you in a minute, ready for our workout. Okay team, here we are. Hope you've had a good a little rest, uh, maybe grab a drink, uh, so we're ready for our workout. And just a reminder, on Sugar World, there is a part A and a part B, okay? So don't be alarmed, because we're going to do both parts all obviously in one go. So part A, we're going to get into straight away, is going to do every two minutes for four sets of eight of our strip press, uh, and then 16 push press. So you're going to go straight in on those, all right? For part B, after another two minute rest, we're going to do five rounds of time of 10 push ups and 10 plank shoulder taps. We'll talk about that when we get there. Okay? Right. So, I hope you've got your loaded implement, whether it's a kettlebell, dumbbell, or plate. I've got my plate just here, uh, and we're ready to go in, in 10 seconds, okay? Camera crew? <laughs> there you go. 10 seconds coming up. Okay, so, eight strict press, first of all. So, I'm going to be looking. Obviously holding that plate in my front right position. I'm squeezing my arms, squeeze my bum. I'm pressing up, only using my arms here. Okay, I don't want to use my legs at all. Just to make it as challenging as possible. Seven, I think that is. And then eight. Okay, now we're into straight into 16 of our push press. A short different drive, using the legs just a little bit to help generate that force just so we can overload our arms again. I think that's halfway. That's eight, eight to go. Okay. 
Here we go then, last five. Good. Make sure at the top, I'm squeezing my ribs down. Okay. And I'm finishing in what we call a stacked position. How many is that? Last one? There it is. I said that was one extra. Four. Okay, so that took us obviously just over a minute. We've got a little bit of a rest now. Hopefully, your arms relax just a bit. And then we're going to go again. Yeah, I'm going to have a quick drink. This does get surprisingly tough. It does get tough. It does get tough. Good. Nice little strength day to finish up the week. I hope you've enjoyed the week. It's been hard. <laughs> It's been hard, that's for sure. That's for sure, it's a good one. Okay. What we're doing here is what we call a mechanical drop set. Okay, so obviously we're starting on a strict press, and then we're adding our legs just to overload it a little bit so we can keep going, make it a little bit harder. Okay, round two then. Here we go, back to that strict press. So again, squeeze your bum, squeeze your abs. Just using our arms, going straight up, finishing again in that stacked position. Four, that's half. And then I'm punching out the last one. Okay, cool, then we're into our push press. So a little dip and a drive, and we're up. We're gonna to wanna to put it down, I know it. You gotta keep going. Nine. That's ten, so we've got six to go. Okay, gotta squeeze hard. Just use those legs enough. Just to give your arms a little bit of help. I think the last one. And there we are. Four. It's getting tough. <laughs> it's getting tough. Definitely feel that. Definitely feel that. Four. Okay, you've got to relax your arms. Use this time now just to recover a little bit. So half is for our sets already. Okay, so that's good. Two to go. Two to go. May your arms look good for those Zoom parties over the weekend. That's the idea. That's the idea of this one anyway. Oh. We're gonna try and keep going unbroken. I'm not gonna promise it, <laughs> but we're gonna try. That's gonna be the goal, that's gonna be the goal. Okay, you ready then, here we go. Coming up for round three. Strict press once again, okay? Eight reps, here we go. Good. Halfway through then, okay? So, remember, squeeze those abs tight. Keep that rib cage pulled down. And last one. Good, okay, now we're into our push press. So then, a little short dip and drive. And we're punching up hard. Eight, cool, that's halfway through. Come on in, keep it going. 10, that's it. Five left. Good, and last one then. And there it is. Four. A little quicker on that time. A little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. Okay, three down. My shoulders are getting knackered. <laughs> I hope everyone else feels the same, it's not just me. Although I have got a 50 kilo plate. Uh, there are special ones that we just brought in just for this session, basically. Oh, I need another drink. Christ, that was tough. So we've got another, another set, last set to do. Then we've got a nice two minutes off before we go through 
<laughs> Yay, more pushing. Okay, here we go. Last set, last one. Let's keep it unbroken, okay? We manage it this far. Here we go. I'm still thinking about those positions. I'm just using my arms for this section here before we transition. And last one. Okay, last set of push press then. Here we go. Short dip and drive. Arms are screaming. You gotta keep going. <laughs> oh. I think that's halfway. Okay, come on. Last three now, last three. Here we go. Five. And six, there it is. Oh, okay. So, we've obviously got the end of this minute. And we're gonna take two minutes from there. Just a little bit longer, a little bit longer. We'll do this all together. And then we're into our part B, our workout, okay? So, enjoy this little rest here now. Again, take a drink. We can put our dumbbell, kettlebell, or plate away. I'm not going to need that for part B. Four. Oh, all right, that was tough. That was tough, that was tough. Okay, so, another two minute rest starting now. All right? Just a reminder then of that part B. Obviously, we've got five rounds for time here of 10 push ups. And then, I don't know what that says, 14, 14 plank shoulder taps we've got, okay? Uh, so that's always gonna be 14 total, seven on each side, all right? If we need, obviously, those push-ups, off our knees, off an incline, whatever you like, uh, I'm not gonna say you have to go unbroken, but just try and get them done as little sets as possible. I'm gonna try and go off my feet. <laughs> I would have done them one-handed. It's not the day for that. It's not the day for that. Um, but yeah, 10 push-ups. Hopefully, I can keep them as unbroken as I can, maybe at least for the first two or three, who knows. Um, but if I need to start breaking it up, that's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay, less than a minute. Less than a minute, and we're going to start. Five rounds of time. I reckon... Someone's going to go sub three, surely. Me, I'll be more about 10. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so uh, just be prepared for that. Just be prepared for that, OK? Otherwise, though, should be a good sesh. We've done vertical pressing. Now we're doing some horizontal pressing and some core work. Lots of stuff getting in, lots of stuff. OK. So get yourself ready. 20 seconds, we're going to go again. For our last little piece, our for time piece. Like I said, this bit is lower down on sugar wad. Okay, are we ready? Five seconds, we're gonna start. Oh, God. Okay, 10 push ups then, here we go. Even though we're tired, we're gonna squeeze our abs nice and tight, stay in that straight line. Nine and ten. There it is. Okay, a little break, and we're into our plank, plank shoulder taps. Okay, so feet about shoulder width, and I'm going to go side to side, keeping my hips where they are, trying not to move. Slow and steady on this one. Don't rush. I hope my judge is counting because I've totally forgotten. Do you know what I'm on? Two to go, I think. 
Okay, there it is. Okay, round one done. One minute. Okay, shake the arms out. We're ready to go again on those push ups. Here we go. Remember, chest all the way to the floor. Last one. There it is. Okay. It's too unbroken. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. I didn't think I'd do that. Okay, here we go. Shoulder taps once again. Remember, we're squeezing our abs tight, not letting those hips twist all over the place. Thirteen. Fourteen, there it is. Four. Pressing again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Five and five if we need. I'm gonna go for another ten, we'll see how that goes. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There it is. Whew. Come on, team. Keep going, keep going. Here we go. Wicked team, right. Got two rounds to go. We're just about, just over around a minute. But that might slip up now. We're gonna see. Can we do another set unbroken? Who knows? Here we go. Ready? Up again. Remember, straight line from head to toe throughout. Three left. Ten, there it is. Okay. Oh, we're slipping a lot. This fourth round has hit us hard. <laughs> okay. Another set of plank shoulder taps. Don't worry about the time. It's all about looking good. Unfortunately, I'm missing that as well. Ten, there it is. Oh, okay. We got our last round. Four. Here we go. Maybe not yet. Okay. Right, last time there, we're looking for a strong press off the floor. Here we go, ten more reps. There's our 10, okay. Last set of shoulder taps, and we're all good. Here we go, stay controlled, don't rush. Last couple then. And there it is. Four, just under five and a half minutes. Four. Team. Good job, that's a tough one. Just still going, keep going, keep pressing through. Remember, keep the control, that's the whole point of that the whole time. Because although we're pressing and we're getting out of breath, we're keeping that control the whole time, squeezing those abs, like I said, making sure we're not twisting all over the place. 
tour. We'll give another few seconds just while people are finishing up. I'm going to grab a drink. See if I can remember how to remove my arms again. Okay. Guys, good job. Two parts to that, obviously. Like I said, remember, on Sugar World, you've got to scroll down to find part B. There are two separate scores for today. Okay, so put your load in the first one, and then put your time for that finisher uh, for part B at the end there, okay? Well, see, obviously we need to pause the video, please do. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in a sec. We're ready for that finish that we're gonna go through, okay? Okay, team, good job. Finisher then. Okay, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do three sets of eight single arm rows. If you've got either a kettlebell uh, or a dumbbell, uh, if it's sort of light enough for you to do that as well. Uh, or you can do 16 just bent of a row. Okay, so obviously that's what I'm gonna do with obviously with my plate, because uh, it's gonna be difficult for me to hold that with one arm. After you those 16 or those eight on each side, you're gonna do 20 seconds of a side plank again on each side. Okay, obviously today's workout, we did a lot of pressing, a whole load of pressing. So we're going to counteract that with some pulling and then get a little bit of core work uh, on the sort of sides of our body uh, rather than the front that we did before. Okay, so rest as needed as this. So I'm just going to get us to count up. We'll be going in 10, starting off on our row, first of all. Uh, and we're going to get three sets total. I'm not sure if I said that. Okay, so plate comes up. Feet are going to be under my hips. I'm going to go into my sort of soft knee and then into my hinge position here where my back's nice and flat. And I'm just going to be pulling that plate up to my chest. I'm squeezing my shoulders back together. Obviously, we've got 16 reps. That's our halfway point. And we're showing control again, very similar to the workout. No need to rush through these. Just nice and steady. Feeling that sort of squeeze at the top. Two to go. And last one. Okay, and there it is. Okay, coming in and we've got our 20 seconds in our side plank, all right? Obviously, if you've got a mat or a, uh, or a towel or anything to put under your arm, that'd be great. I'm gonna show you some options, okay? So first one, Make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna go on my knee here. So I'm just reducing that range or that distance I'm having to support, okay? What I'm trying to do though, I'm squeezing my abs, squeezing my bum. If my legs are out straight, I'm squeezing my legs hard to maintain the straight line position. Three, two, one. Cool, we can switch sides. We'll go the other way. And it's exactly the same on that left side, okay? So again, just squeeze those abs tight. We're holding that straight line. I'm not letting my shoulder round over. They should be square. If you want to help with that, you can point straight up to the ceiling. Just gives you a little bit of sort of guidance of where to be. Three, two, one. And there it is, there's our 20 seconds, okay? We can take a little bit of a rest if you need it before moving in to sets two and three, okay? So plate up again, or kettlebell or dumbbell, whatever you have. We're going again, back into that hinge, so my back's still nice and flat, and off we go. We're pulling that plate into our chest again. Remember the whole time, we're not rushing. We're just squeezing the shoulders back together. Just counteracting that pressing that we did earlier in today's workout. Tough one the workout was. We were saying we'd be interested to see, I think that's 16. Be interesting to see if anyone could go unbroken. And by unbroken, I mean staying pretty much in the plank position the whole time. So between your push-ups, into your shoulder taps, no rest, just straight through. 
Okay, this time I'm going to try and go off my feet. So we're going to go up again. Two, one, off we go. And we're going to hold here exactly the same. I'm squeezing my abs tight, squeezing my bum. Now, obviously, I'm squeezing my legs straight. Staying in that straight line. Five seconds. Three, two, one. There it is. Starting to shake a little bit. That's always fun. Okay, other side then. Just nice and steady. Again. Here we go, and we're up. Just squeezing tight. Again, don't let those shoulders sort of round over. You want to keep them stacked over each other. Okay, we've got five seconds to go, team. Two, one. There it is. Okay. Final set then, coming up. Okay, last time, last time through. Whew. Okay. Obviously, you need a little bit longer of a break. Or well, if you're going a little bit quicker, that's absolutely fine. We're going to go up again. Last time. In either case, I hope we're not rushing. That's halfway, okay. Keep it going. Remember that control, just squeezing the shoulders up together. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can add a brief pause at the top. And last one, there it is. There's our 16 for the last time. And we'll get our side planks in. And then we're free to enjoy our weekend, basically. Here it is. Okay. So, I'll just wait for a nice round number. And 20 seconds then. Last time on the right. I'll tell you what, shoulders are tired just doing this from that workout. It's up here. Okay, you've got five to go. Two, one, and relax. Cool, other side. Last 20 seconds of work then. Ready, team. In five seconds, here we go, and up. Last set, make it the best set. Squeeze hard. Five to go. And relax. Time. Cool. So, there we have it, team. Done and dusted in probably about half an hour or so, I would have thought. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed all the sort of follow along workouts this week. Like I said, have a good weekend. I uh, hope you enjoy your hero workout tomorrow. And then we'll see you on Monday, ready to go again. Cheers, team.